the Crobensis National Hunt flat race is next and there will be two miles and it's a National Hunt flat race and at the top is El Dorado for Padre Hogan Good Street for David Hooley, Gurr, Martin Little, Junior Days, Obi-Wan, Quozark for Paul Rhodes, Sexton Blake giving me the hand breakout character Leon Van Rensburg and Irina Bay for Alex Cherry so just eight then and away they go and whatever on the far side Gurr might be just the first one to show from Sexton Blake and Irina Bay those three are in a line and they're being followed by Quozark and then Junior Days I was just about to say they make their way towards the first but they don't because it's a national flat race so it's Sexton Blake who settled down there now in the lead with Irina Bay on the outside of the company they've gone two or three clear of the rest of them are headed by Gurr and Junior Days in between those two, Quozark, I think he's yet another set of colours for Paul Rhodes who seems to be chopping and changing his colours a lot lately. Then Good Street and Breakout Character, the last one in shot, and the one that's struggling at the back is El Dorado, finding the pace just a little bit too hot at this stage. They swing left handed then. And Sexton Blake clear, as you can see, El Dorado is quite some way adrift of the rest of them at the moment, so I was going to miss with that one but it's Sexton Blake and Irina Bay are oh, disputing the lead and they're four clear of Quozark and Gurr and Junior Days with Good Street after that one and then Breakout Character has been switched to the outside and finally El Dorado I dare say one or two of the horses in this might be Second string four year old hurdles. There's only one four year old hurdle race this week, which is a little bit surprising considering there are two four year old races at Cheltenham. Most people have got two four year olds. You'd have thought there'd have been a second race that was open to four year olds as well, but maybe that's something that could be looked at for next time. And it's Sexton Blake in front from Irina Bay and Quozark. Breakout character, Good Street Gurr, Junior Days, and El Dorado. Just about five furlongs still to go. And Sexton Blake being pushed along in front. Quozark has now moved through into second. Marina Bay is third, breakout character fourth. Gurr still there in fifth. Then Good Street Junior Days. And a big gap back to El Dorado. Gurr has now switched right around the outside and is coming through to make a challenge. But Quozark and Sexton Blake still lead. Gurr is now coming to join them though. Then comes Breakout Character in Good Street. Irina Bay is next. Gurr hits the front. It's Gurr going on then from Quozark in second. Then Sexton Blake there starting to struggle. Breakout Character is there. Good Steel is trying to run on as well. But it's Gurr who's got the lead as they come down towards the final third and a half. Gurr's in front from Quozark in second. Then comes Good Street, breakout character. Gurr in the lead, but beginning to tie up now then. As Good Street and Quozark come back. Good Street on this near side. Good Street taking it up then from Quozark and breakout characters. They're racing up towards the lane. going to be another one for David Hooley, is it? It's Good Street in the lead. And Good Street hangs on to take it. And four on day one for David Hooley. And throwing down the gauntlet to join the top table and be a contender for the championship it might only be day one week one but four winners in the first 12 races is pretty impressive stuff so good street wins it for David Hooley breakout character for Leon Van Rensburg second Quozark for Paul Rhodes was third Gurr for Mark Little was fourth and Sexton Blake for Kevin Minahan was fifth